John Bosco, more commonly known around the world as Don Bosco, Don being a term of reverence given to Italian priests at the time. Through a series of dreams that he had at an early age, Don Bosco believed that he should dedicate his life to the service and well-being of abandoned young boys and decided to become a Catholic priest. In time, through his work, he was able to increase his following of brothers. He named them the Society of St. Francis de Sales or the Salesians, inspired by the missionary work of St. Francis de Sales. In 1885, Professor Boidi designed the Salesian coat of arms. Within the Salesian coat of arms, the shining star, the large anchor, the heart on fire symbolized the theological virtues. The figure of St. Francis de Sales recalls the patron of the society. The small wood in the lower part reminds us of the founder. The high mountains signify the heights of perfection towards which members strive. The interwoven palm and laurel that enfold the shield either side are emblematic of the prize reserved for a virtuous and sacrificial life. The motto, Da Mihi Animas Kaitera Tol, which simply means, give me souls, take away the rest, expresses every Salesian's idea. Over time, the Salesian presence began to spread all over the world and in the year 1906, the Salesians first arrived and set up their very first community in the city of Mumbai, then known as Bombay. And the place was known as Tardio Castle. A little later on, in the Matunga province of Mumbai, through the hard work of a visionary priest by the name of Father Aurelius Maschio, a prominent Salesian institute was set up in Mumbai. After the setting up of Don Bosco Matunga, further Salesian institutes were set up in Banala, Kurla and Andheri, following which they set their eyes on setting up a Salesian institute in a small suburb called Burivli. Welcome to Don Bosco High School, Burivli. It was on the 29th of June 1970 when a seasoned missionary and one-time provincial by the name of Father Anthony Alessi was appointed rector for the Salesian Institute to be set up in Burivli. Father Anthony Alessi began this institution who was a great pioneer and missionary in the Northeast. Father Anthony Alessi, being a missionary, called this institution St. Paul's School because St. Paul was the first missionary among the apostles. As time went on and the new school got more popular within the Burivli community, it was decided that the school would not be run as an apostolic school and it was the newly arrived priest, Father Joseph Menezes, that would make the first of his many important contributions to the school. Father Joseph Menezes changed the name to Don Bosco from St. Paul's and he was both director and the principal in the beginning and he brought this school to a great height. Don Bosco once said, always try to enlighten the mind while ennobling the heart. The teachers and the staff of the school follow this ideal very, very closely. Their primary focus is to provide their students with an all-round holistic formation referring to the growth of a student in all areas, whether it be in the classrooms or on the stage or on the playground. My approach towards my students is creating awareness in them and giving them the resources, that is the knowledge, the understanding, the interest and the love to achieve their goals in life. I couldn't be happier with the class of my students 
who are intelligent, bright, understanding, loving. What is your favorite subject? Subject is maths, and I like it very much. So then, whenever I make some or the other mistakes, I always learn from these. Welcome to Don Bosco School, Bharatpur. I've been here for the last. For years, I had a pleasant experience in the school. And down the years, the principals have worked very hard developing the school into a one of the eight great schools in the R ward. I am teaching here for last 13 years, and my experience with my students is very good. 13 years are passed like anything. We have to adapt the new systems. Like whenever there is a changes, we have to adapt all the systems. Our school life has many challenges which can prepare us for the future. So we know that we are ready and we can take up any challenge that comes up to us. And that is something the Salesian community at Don Bosco School Berivli have always done. These efforts can be seen through the Don Bosco Educare system and its introduction to Nyanudaya, a Don Bosco remedial project, also known as NIOS the National Institute of Open Schooling. This program provides students a number of vocational, life-enriching and community-oriented courses besides general and academic courses at secondary and senior secondary level. Don Bosco Brivley's Educare system also provides opportunities to those children with learning difficulty and helps them with their education. Also through their community outreach programs, they provide study classes for children living in the slums. These classes are held both in the school for them and at selected outreach centers. Additionally, for the school students, the classrooms are constantly updated to ensure a better and a complete educational experience. Also, the students are provided with a variety of resources at their disposal. That includes a school library, a computer room and of course the school laboratory where well, some things never change. We always encourage our children to get themselves involved in our co-curricular activities. For this purpose, we have a lovely ground. We have also started special coaching hours in which the boys have full fledged training in all sorts of games and uh, co-curricular activities. And uh, many of the boys actively take part in this. We have gone a long way off now. We have got plenty of uh, awards for these kind of uh, activities. And I'm happy to say there is a lot of encouragement from the parents, from the PTA, from the management itself that we Keep on carrying, keep on going on, uh, going on encouraging sports and social activism. Daily. Here are a few memories of the most senior ex-student of Don Bosco, Rivley. I remember Father Principal, uh, Father Joseph, how he welcomed me because I had come from a different school and he welcomed me around. He showed me the school around and he was a very nice and a soft-spoken person. He always encouraged the students. Well. Uh, I passed the school in 1975 and all the values which I had learned in the school, you know, the, the confidence which the school had given, all the other activities besides studies really helped me. In all his years of teaching, Don Bosco has held a proud tradition of impressing the importance of both education and faith in the growth of a young student's value system. His intention was to combine academic growth along with a spiritual dimension for his young students. Every year we have spiritual retreat for 10th standard students which is mandatory and living by objective orientation programs for all the divisions from 5th to the 10th mandatory. This dimension is not only for Catholic students but uh, students of other faith. We have assemblies, prayer meetings, prayer services through which we bring out ethical values as they academically grew stronger over the years, the Salesians of Don Bosco Brivley then turned their attention to the formation and growth of their parish community. The parish of St. John Bosco started in the year 1994. 
the first of June. Father Olivio Miranda was the first parish priest to be appointed. It was in its early stages. The parish and its members started putting in the early hard work required to set up their beloved church community. The organizing of the parish began with consolidating the Sunday school. And we picked up two stages, the first Holy Communion catechesis and the confirmation catechesis. The church continued to go from strength to strength through the years. See, Don Bosco started this work for the youngsters. We started first the religious order, the Salishan congregation. Then the, since the, the number of boys in his oratory were growing very large. And he realized that um, he would require the help of the lay people also in his work. So that is how he came up with this idea of starting an association of lay people. This congregation was started by him in 1876. It's called Association of Salation Cooperators. So the lay people can become a member of Salation Cooperator. We don't take the religious vows, but we help say, in the mission of Don Bosco. We have a team of uh, praise and worship that goes about spiritual and motivational growth. We go under the leadership of Father Alvin Viskita. The basic reason that we have this praise and worship team is to touch the hearts of, and minds of all the people. I was waiting and longing to see Don Bosco's relic himself. I had never got an opportunity though I was a boarder. I was always praying and hoping that I get the relic to see and I was very fortunate to see Don Bosco's relic entering into Don Bosco Borubli and I was very much happy and pleased. And so with these three stages, the Sunday school, the small Christian communities and the youth groups, the parish of St. John Bosco was off to a flying start. Recently, on the 2nd of October 2012, the 143rd birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, an interfaith prayer meeting was held, bringing together religious leaders of all faiths. The religious heads from six different faiths enlightened our minds with the message of peace and love. Sister Reena from the Brahma Kumaris, Bonde Guruji, gave us the message from the Vedas. Imam M. D. Ali from the Quran, Sikh Guru, Gyani Sevak Singh talked about unity amongst all religions. Bhante Mahindra Bhonte, the Buddhist monk was all praise for the religious heads who spread the message of peace. And on behalf of the school, Father William Falcao spoke and Father Aloysius Fatado, quoted from sacred scripture, said that peace is a quality that is emphasized in the Bible. Playground is important part of education. Sports builds character and endurance. This is our firm belief. And this is brought out by extracurricular activity, especially sports activity. These sports activities are held in Don Bosco as a part of the school curriculum, not outside the school hours. Welcome to Pishi Ananches Hall of Don Bosco High School, Bariuli. This is the place where children come to lunches and it's done in a systematic way. We have a structured syllabus and uh, here the passion is to see that if a child uh, has taken a liking to chess, he becomes a champion. One of the most famous ex-students of Don Bosco Barivli is Paul Valthati, formerly a member of the Rajasthan Royals and now the Kings 11 Punjab IPL team. Don Bosco, I'd say, played a huge, huge role in my, uh, you know, my nurturing of my talent in cricket. And that's where, uh, you know, I started my first uh, steps as a cricketer, uh, you know, taking part in the Don Bosco summer camp and then uh, subsequently going on to play for the under-14 Don Bosco team. But the initial struggle that we had, you know, in, uh, in, with regards of, uh, you know, getting a team together, then sort of competing with the topmost schools of, of the city, I think Don Bosco, especially our father, then Do the late uh, Dominic Almeida, he encouraged us a lot in a, in a friendly way, in a nice way. I think it's very important for a 10-year-old, for a 12-year-old, for a 14-year-old, 
which uh, later on only helps him in becoming first a, a good man, a good human being, and then a successful human being as well. The Past Pupil Association, now known as the Don Bosco Alumni Association, was formed in 1998. It was started as an initiative to ensure the ex-students of the school had a way of giving something back to their beloved institution. I came back to the school in 1998. Then when we met uh, Sir Raghu and Father Dominic uh, Almeida, he was there. And he encouraged us to form a Past Pupils Association. The group holds regular cultural events, Thanksgiving and felicitation events and is always present to aid the school whenever required. I, I was the first president of that association and subsequently there was uh, Sai Prasad Don and then uh, Heman Jain and now Mr. Rashmin Desai. He is the past uh, People's Association president at present and they are carrying forward an, the work which we started and in an excellent manner. The Don Bosco High School would also not be complete without the support and assistance of all the various support staff that help carry out the daily activities and are the backbone of this prosperous organization. Most recently, the Salesians of Don Bosco selected a new logo. The logo is designed with the central theme, Don Bosco and the Salesians walking with the young through the world. The logo of the Salesians of Don Bosco is made up of two superimposed images. In the background, a stylized S in white is formed within a sphere like a globe marked to the right and left by two cuttings between the hills, dunes. The second image is in the center of the globe bridging the S road. This is an arrow pointing upwards, resting on three perpendicular legs, on top of which are three closed circles, making a stylized image of three people. The first of these in the middle and taller than the others is the point of the arrow, and the other two beside it appear as it were to be embraced by the central figure. The three stylized figures with the arrow pointing upwards can also be viewed as a simple dwelling with a sloping roof and with pillars holding it up. Various elements of the new logo, Don Bosco, the Salesian and young people. Three stylized figures represent St. John Bosco reaching out to the young and his call for Salesians to continue his work. The Salesian charisma and the preventive system the road represents an educational journey for the youth. The house represents Bosco's oratories of reason, religion and kindness. The Salesian charisma, relevant and worldwide. The background is a stylized heart that is also reminiscent of a globe. The students who pass out of Don Bosco, all the best for their future careers. And I'm surely going to treasure the days that I spent in Don Bosco for my life. Wishing them success. I feel the Don Bosco is absolutely different from the other schools. They are one of the best. I wish you all the best. Giving is the highest form of living. Live to give. God bless all of you. I am proud to be a part of this school, this setup. Proud to be the principal of such a wonderful school. And I would like to give my best wishes to everyone. I wish all the staff members and the surgeons will be working in this institution all the best all the best indeed years wishing the staff the students and everyone associated with the don bosco high school Burivli the very best for the future
You knew we can always find a 